so you sent me a new one and then afterwards we're going to look at the other one so <clears throat> just like the other one this is going to have a rougher stage so let's take a look at it okay hold on so i'm not sure i'm not sure what's going on Is no audio, so I'm not I'm not quite sure. Maybe I am missing audio then. <clears throat> like this, uh, it's good that the, the file name is textbooks. Otherwise, I would not have quite known what that is. On close inspection, though, I guess uh, it's clear that this is a book, but it could also be ginormous movie tapes or something. But it seems to be. It's almost, given that he has this ginormous nose, to me it's almost as if he is sniffing it. <laughs> you know? So he, uh, he looks at it very closely. And then he freaks out. And I'm not sure why. And then he looks over there. And again, I'm not sure why. And he looks at different corners. And then he again looks over there. It's as if there's something really important either. Talking to him, I'm not quite sure what's going on. And then after that, it's that long pause, and then he goes, like he turns around, and the story point is that he, you know, puts these over, or oh, throws these over here, I'm not quite sure why again, and then looks around, and then goes, whoa, and then now they're gone. Again, this is, this could be me being completely stupid, which in most cases is the case. So um, maybe let me know. But this is my first impression. I'm not quite sure what is going on, what, why he's doing what he's doing. Is he alone? Is he looking at someone else, talking to someone else? Am I missing audio that would um, explain everything that I'm not understanding? All right. So the most unhelpful critique ever. <laughs> um, just have a bunch of questions. All right. Thanks. And then this guy. Let's go back. So you mentioned. Um, the shoulders, the girls get away more frantic and change expression at the ends. I'm very curious, was this an awesome shot? Let's see. I'm still deciding whether or not to kill you, princess. If I were you, I'd avoid doing anything more to antagonize me. I'm still deciding whether or not to kill you, princess. That's already very cool. I like your camera changes there. I'm still deciding whether or not to kill you, princess. The only thing I would say was a tricky thing. I'm still deciding whether or not to kill you, princess. The camera move happens right when the music happens. To kill you, princess. <laughs> Which is slightly on the nose. Da, da, da. But it could be okay. But even without the sound, I'm looking at him. It's It feels a bit too linear. It feels like your curve is... You know, the camera's doing this, and then slight, immediately goes down with a slight ease in, and that's it. And I think you can, you know, set a key, set a key, and move this guy over. So give this a bit more of an ease in. You don't have to do any overshoot. Just something a bit more quiet in terms of the camera move. Again, but unless you want to do, you know, in sync with the sound. I'm still deciding whether or not to kill you, princess. This is kind of neat. Like, why not? I mean, I guess you can keep it there. I would just slow this down. So it feels a bit more natural and less CG. This works right now because it's with the sound. Um, your call if you want it to, uh, to be like that. Kill you, princess. If I were you, I'd avoid doing anything more to antagonize me. Cool. Okay, the basic actions are cool. I think what I would do is... To kill you, princess. Her actions... Let's bring the volume... Sorry. Menu, the volume down a little bit. It feels like she is waiting for a cue. Not and action! Eh. So, if possible, can you do this move? Not the chair, like it could be something where, and even right now she's, you know, the legs are, are everything's just kind of straight. She's really just waiting. So your first pose could be more something where maybe one leg is out there, one is a bit more over there, and she has kind of a, you know, there's something going on there. It looks like she's running. <laughs> but something where you can tell the moment you get over there that it's not just a person waiting. Like this could be psycho. Where it's his dead mother. Like, we have no idea. But if you start in a pose like this, and the moment we turn over the camera to her, 
um, she can bring those legs back and get straighter maybe lean back a bit more um, and then that immediately tells us okay well someone is in that chair against their will and then you end with that like okay well now they want to get away this must be really serious that's cool It feels like um, your leg is shrinking. Just make sure that, you know, if you have a table, a uh, chair, and you go over that, you do have a horrible arc. That's the idea, right? That the length is still the same and you tip over. And right now, uh, it feels like you have this and then it just gets massively shorter. Makes sense. I'm just not sure what's going on. So this, this might be going through the ground at this point. It's a bit harsh, like you're the key on the chair. I don't know, maybe it's just the scale thing and also that it comes a bit straight towards us so it can pivot off and come a bit to the right. And then after that, just again for the franticness, actually does that. And then she kind of stops and goes, Okay, you know, it's like this little moment. Huh. And I will go, boom, boom, straight into that. And I know you're saying maybe that she tried, that she wants to do something else, but then it wouldn't just be, like, then I would make it a lot bigger. Like, you know, she's really, like overall, I would take her, uh, her body and make it more like that, where she's like, you know, you want to point with the body. Like, I want to go out. I want to go. This is the exit. I need to go. And right now, especially this, if that's a breathing thing where she's kind of exhausted, it's just too quiet. And it happens only here. There's not much going on uh, in the head here, you know. It, it needs to be bigger. <sighs> and maybe like a little arc down and up. Just, just, I would amp it up if you really want to make it this more frantic. That kills the weight that you're going forward. This guy. You can see if, if you track... Just in general, you're doing this. I know this is still, if you're saying it's still rough, but you know, you have the pivot points of this guy. And then from here to here, it's huge tracking that corner of that chair. And then you go from here to here, oh, holy moly, you go straight back. So, a couple more frames through this here, and then definitely a couple more frames where if he holds on to this and pulls back, this can come back, but the energy of this going up is going to continue. Meaning that, you know, there was, there's going to be a pose where it can be like this. His arm is down here because he pulled it back, but this continues to go forward. And her uh, her legs then shoot out because she is being pulled back. Boom, into this. Now this makes it that much bigger. So if you don't want it to be that big, which okay, is almost a bit too cartoony, you want to go maybe from here to half that distance or two thirds of it and not go all the way forward. It's just that massive movie that makes sense. That's cool. That makes more sense. Struggling, struggling, and I mean, like the, the, the body moves here. Then the knife comes up. Do some uh, animation things here. I think what you could do is to make this more. She doesn't quite know, unless she feels it on her hair. But this could be something where, and I don't know if you can do this with the tape, but imagine the jaw goes down and you realize she's going yelling. And then as that knife comes up into this, you actually bring the chin up maybe to here and the knife a bit higher, meaning that the, you know, the flat part of the blade pushed the chin up. So she's going so that knife stops that whole thingy. And that, that's what makes her look. Like, holy shit, what was that? And then she goes, holy moly. And into that. That would be my comment. I'm still deciding whether or not to kill you, princess. If I were you, I'd avoid doing anything more to antagonize me. The, uh, the guy's cool. I think I like all that stuff. I'm still deciding whether or not. You know, there's some technical things, like there's a shoulder Whoop, just kind of pops up here. Again, you can look at this is the line, and the next line is here. Like, that's a pretty big move. 
so it's not really easing in. Plus, it seems massively isolated in this section. You know, there's some stuff going here, but there's nothing going on here, and it continues with the rest of the shoulder going up here. So you really have to look at body mechanics, and if I move this, this means it affects the chest, which means this moves a little bit, you can maybe drop the shoulder a little bit, um, so this will, and maybe some overall wire rotation in the body. There's a lot of stuff that, needs, that can go on body-wise here. But even here, see that? I can draw that line across his shirt here. See, you have two arms moving, head is moving, that line is not moving. So you gotta make sure that during all this, the root can move a bit. Again, any type of Y rotation in the root or left and right tilt. You know, there's lots of stuff you can do, subtle stuff, that makes it more look like more the whole thing is moving. Because now at this point, we're just having this and that's all locked. And again, this might just be because of the rough stage. I'm just pointing out for uh, stuff that you can fix for next time or, or future revisions. But in terms of his acting, Princess. If I was you, I'd avoid doing it's anything. It's cool, I like it. And actually, I was going to say, well, his walk is pretty repetitive, but at the same time, actually, I think it's okay, because I want to look at her, and because he's not doing anything crazy or pointing at her or anything, I'm not, I'm not conflicted. Like, I look at him because he comes in, but then I go back, because he doesn't really change much, which then, to me, dramatically is, I like it, like, I, I can looking at her and he has this thing with the audio here I avoid doing anything more, more to that. that's cool too more to let's make sure that when you do this it doesn't stop this feels and stop right so he's not moving anymore especially when you have movement in his arm it's gonna move like I said the, his left shoulder moves the rest but after all this like he does all that move keep going like he can straighten his legs and tower over her to make it more imposing. So this big looming figure over her. So that once you get to here, there's still movement in him, right? And when he does the whole knife thing, um, with the knife on her on her throat, he might still get closer to her, shoulders might go higher. Again, you wanna emphasize that it's this big looming thing and she has no escape. Alright? That's kinda what happened. Thank you. Alright. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Alright, thank you.